In this video, we're going to look at integration by u substitution. And in these cases, we've got a function and its derivative. So when we've got a function and its derivative, we can use u substitution. So here's a function. We've got x squared plus 5x plus 2. And it is multiplied by its derivative, which is 2x plus 5. So we are going to say that u is the function. So x squared plus 5x plus 2. And its derivative, so du dx, is 2x plus 5. What we're going to do is we're going to, instead of differentiating with respect to x, differentiate with respect to u. So to do that, we change dx to dx du du. So think of it as dividing and timesing by du. So that gives us the integral of 2x plus 5 times by our u, it's u now, times dx du and dx du is this flipped over the reciprocal of 2x plus 5 1 over 2x plus 5 1 over 2x plus 5 with respect to u and then we can see the 2x plus 5 is going to cancel out and it's just going to leave us with the integral of u with respect to u so we can integrate it now so add 1 to the power divide by the new power and plus c. So there's our answer. All we need to do is substitute back in our u, which is x squared plus 5x plus 2. So we've got that squared over 2 plus c. And there's our answer. Okay, here's another case. Another one of these, so we've got a function, we've got 10x, and we've got its derivative, sex squared x. So we've got a function and its derivative. It doesn't matter that there's a multiplier there, a 3. We could ignore anything it's multiplied by. So as long as we've got a function and its derivative, we can ignore any constant, any number. So we're going to say u is 10x du dx is sex squared x and we'll flip it over we'll say dx du is 1 over sex squared x so we're going to integrate with respect to u instead of respect to x so what do we have we've got 3 times u times sex squared x times 1 over sex squared x with respect to u. So the sex squared x is all cancel, which gives us the integral of 3u with respect to u. So we'll add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and plus c. So all that's left to do is to substitute 10x back in for u which gives us 3 tan squared x over 2 and plus c. Okay, here's another question. We've got a function and something like its derivative. So it's a multiple of the derivative, which is fine. So we'll have u as... 2x squared plus 3. We'll have du dx as 4x and we'll have dx du as 1 over 4x. And we're going to integrate with respect to u again. So we have the integral of 5x over u times 1 over 4x with respect to u. So we will 
simplify that, we'll cancel the x's, and we're left with 5 over 4, 5 over 4u. So 5 over 4u with respect to u. We could even take the 5 over 4 outside and just have 1 over u with respect to u. So if we integrate it, if we integrate 1 over u, we're going to get ln u. So ln u plus c. And then we just need to substitute back in our u, which is 2x squared plus 3. So we've got 5 over 4 ln 2x squared plus 2x squared plus 3 plus c. Okay, here are two questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. Okay, so for the first one, we're going to say our function is 2x squared minus 4, and a multiple of our derivative is x. So we'll say u equals 2x squared minus 4, which makes du dx 4x, which makes dx du 1 over 4x. So we're going to integrate with respect to u, and that gives us, so we've got x times u, or u times x, but ux times dx du, which is 1 over 4x, with respect to u. So the x is cancel here, which gives us the integral of 1 quarter u, with respect to u. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so that gives us 1 eighth u squared plus c. And that would be the answer if we just substitute back in the u. So 1 eighth of 2x squared minus 4 squared plus c. Okay, the second question. So this time we will let u equal 4x squared minus 1. So du dx will be 8x and dx du will be 1 over 8x. So we're going to integrate with respect to u again and that gives us x over u times dx du, which is 1 over 8x, with respect to u. So the x is cancel, and that gives us 1 over 8u, or we could even say 1 eighth times the integral of 1 over u with respect to u. So we integrate, so 1 over u will become ln u, so 1 eighth ln u plus c, and then we'll substitute our u back in, so that gives us 1 eighth ln 4x squared minus 1 and plus c.